Hey guys, so I just got a box in the mail, like literally a minute ago. The uh, mail lady dropped this guy off and it's actually kind of heavy and it's from Candles on Victoria. So I thought that since I had it here and the camera was out, um, I might as well do an unboxing and show you guys what is in this box. So normally at the beginning of every month, Victoria will have a sale on her website, but for the month of February, it's going to be a little bit different. She's actually going to have a Super Bowl sale, and I don't know anything about football, so I'm not really sure when Super Bowl Sunday is, but um, that day she's actually going to have a sale, and it's going to be anywhere from 15 to 25% off, and that amount is going to be determined on the team's scores at halftime. Um, again. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what halftime is. But for those of you who want to know more about the sale, all that information is actually going to be on the Candles of Victoria fan page. So I don't know anything about it except for that it's going to be a Super Bowl sale. But if you do want to know more, um, definitely head over to the Candles of Victoria fan page. I'll post the link down below. Um, like them and then you'll be in the know for when the sale um, happens and for how much it's going to be. So definitely check that out. So let's dig into the goodies. So I have some scent shots here and I'm assuming these, whoa, I guess those are going to be the new scents. Oh, and this is probably one of the things that made the box heavy, a candle. Ooh, another one. I saw this on her Facebook page. So that's exciting. Ooh, packing peanuts everywhere. A couple more scent shots. Ooh, this is cool. Very cool. A bath and body goodie from CBD Bath and Body. Ooh, another one. Ooh, another goodie. Another candle. All right, and that's all that's in the box, as if that wasn't enough, right? Um, I think I'm going to start with the scent shots first, which are the new fragrances for the month of February. So the first one is Simply Pear, and as the name would suggest it's just a straight up pear fragrance i don't know it kind of smells like banana to me is that weird it smells really good it kind of smells like banana slash bubble gum with a little bit of pear yeah i might have to set this one aside and smell this a little bit later it might be because of all the different scents that were in the box so i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit because i know that that one is just a simple like pear fragrance but for some reason I smell banana and bubblegum. This one is maple butter crunch and that just sounds yummy doesn't it like and it smells really really good. I don't even like maple syrup like in real life like I don't use maple syrup on my pancakes or my waffles or anything like that. I, I just don't like it for some reason but this smells so good. This is nice. It's very, very buttery, definitely very sugary, but like I said, it has more of like a caramel type scent to me. Um, a little bit of like a spice too. The scent description for this is rich maple butter with buttercream crunch, which I guess is like that just really sweet, like buttery, like creamy scent in here. And then it says the bottom scent is our maple butter pumpkin frap candle and highly requested. And I guess the pumpkin frap kind of gives it a little bit ooh, a little bit of like a spice but not like just the tiniest hint next i have dark kiss which is a bath and body works dupe i believe and this one smells really good definitely very perfumey but not overly strong this one's definitely a more fruity perfume and not so much floral although i do get a little bit of that and I know there's a little bit of vanilla in here to kind of give it a little bit more of like a sweetness as well. This one's also really good. Next, I have coriander and white lime. And that just sounds like it would be really good. And it is. Oh my goodness. This smells really good. So far, I think this is my favorite. This scent reminds me of like walking into a really, really nice house. I don't know. I don't know. Very fresh and very light. Um... There's, there is like the hint of like citrus in here, so there's a little bit of lime, a little bit of like oranginess to it, but it also has kind of like an herby, but not like herbal, if that makes any sense. It's definitely not like medicinal at all. It, that, that herby quality in it almost just gives it a really nice, like fresh kind of, um, green scent. 
also kind of perfumey. I don't know. I really like this one. So far, that is my favorite. I really, really like that. Well, the next three scents I have here are Create a Scents from Victoria's Customers. The first one is Go Go Juice, and this was created by Amy Werner. And this is a mix of strawberry margarita and mango sorbet. I love her mango sorbet scent. And this one's really nice too. And it has that... You definitely get the mango sorbet for sure that's in there. That tart, kind of sweet, fruity scent. But it also has like that berry note from the strawberry as well. The next one I'm not really sure how to pronounce. Um, I'm going to say I Tori. It's A-I and T-O-R-I. This scent was created by Jenny DeBarros and it's a mixture of Lovebirds and Tokyo Springs. Also, I apologize if I butchered anyone's name. I love Victoria's Tokyo Spring scent. Like, it's it's one of my favorites, definitely. It's really nice. And this is really nice. It almost has kind of like um, a soapy quality to it. I almost smell a little bit of Love Spell in here from Victoria's Secret. And I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head what Lovebirds is made of. It might have Love Spell in it. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm smelling. I really like the name for this one. Um, it's I'll Have What She's Having. And this was created by Jason Hogan. And this is a mix of Bear Paws and Chocolate Cookie. This is definitely very bakery smelling. Ooh, this one's like oozing with like fragrance oil. Can you see that? It almost has kind of like a cherry almond type scent in this. As well as a really sweet kind of buttery, almost um, like brown sugar type scent. Next, I have three candles. Um, and they are packaged very, very well. If you've never ordered from Cancel Victoria, you have no idea how well these candles are packaged. Like, Matt does an awesome job of, like, securing these babies. Like, good luck trying to get in here. Like, you definitely need a pair of scissors, which I'm going to go grab again. So the first candle that I'm going to talk about is this little guy, and it's actually not that little. It's actually 20 ounces. This is her 20 ounce barrel candle, and this is, I believe, the purple shade. How did she know my favorite color was purple? Um, this actually comes in three different color combinations. This is the purple. Um, it comes in pink, and it comes in green, so definitely check that out. It is on the... It is on the seventh candle page and it retails for $17 and you can get this in any scent that you want. It's really cute. Um, kind of reminds me of Winnie the Pooh's like honey jar. That's kind of how it's shaped. It does have texture to it. It has these little like ridges if you can hear. Victoria sent this to me in the scent Bella Swan. The next little guy I have here is her 16 ounce mason jar and this is brand new to her line as well. It's a ball ball brand mason jar and this also you can pick in any scent that you want and it retails for $13.50. I have a couple of her other mason jar candles like the little ones I think those are nine ounces I want to say um, but this one's definitely a lot fatter and it looks kind of like a chubby like squished little candle it's really cute um, and it has like a much bigger opening and I believe this is double wicked it's also different because the lid actually is like a canning jar um, where it has like this ring and then this guy is like kind of vacuum sealed in there. There you go. This scent that she sent me is in Blushing Peaches. A really nice peach scent. Kind of peachy, floral, fruity. And it looks like that. So it's double wicked. Has an, like I said, really nice opening. And it can be found on the 8th candle page. And the last candle I have here is her new Hurricane candle. And this guy is also on the 8th candle page and it's also 16 ounces and this retails for $12.50. I actually really like this one. This one is single wicked but I really like the shape of this. It's really unique and it's different from the other shapes that she's had. It has almost kind of a more modern feel if you're not into kind of like the country feel of the other candles. This is nice because it has just a really sleek kind of curvy design scent that I received this in is Geisha and if you're looking for this scent it's under the Candleman's Closet section and it's a dupe of another popular company's um, bath bomb. It smells like cherry blossoms and if you want to know exactly what it's a dupe of leave me a comment down below and I'll let you know but I don't think I'm allowed to share it with you guys on camera. That's all I have as far as candles go, but I do have a couple products from CBV Bath & Body, and these can actually be found on the Candles by Victoria website now, so you don't have to go to two different sites to order. You can order your candles and your Bath & Body goods 
at the same time. Um, so I have two little guys here, and the first one I'm going to talk about is this, and I'm really excited about this. This is um, a new lotion that Melissa has concocted for us, and this one is in the scent Barefoot and Blue Jeans. And this is what it looks like up close, so you guys can see. Really cute, simple label, and it gives you all the ingredients on there as well. And if you want to know what the ingredients are, um, you can go to the website and she has it on there as well. It's 8 ounces, and it retails for $8.50. And let's just smell this guy. It's like full too. It's like super like full. Can you see that? Packed to the very top. Let's see how this feels. Again, this is in the scent um, Barefoot in Blue Jeans, which is a really nice kind of perfumey type fragrance. And I don't have any like lotion on right now, so let's try this out. And that just absorbed really quickly actually. Really nice. Yeah, that's definitely definitely fast absorbing for sure it doesn't leave any like sticky residue you can see there's no like greasy sheen on my hands but it does feel really moisturizing so that's really nice last thing i have here is a bath bomb and this is in the scent goldilocks which is also a dupe of a fragrance from that same company that i mentioned earlier um, but i believe the bath bombs come in several um, fragrances as well and just reading the ingredients in here there are a lot of really good oils for you so this is going to definitely be very moisturizing it has coconut oil sweet almond oil jojoba oil in it reading on the website it says don't worry these super fizzing bombs are designed so that no slippery mess or color stain is left behind in your tub because a lot of times when you use um, like a bath product with a lot of like really moisturizing oils in it it can leave like a really slick film on the bottom of your tub so sometimes like before in the past I've used certain products that kind of are really oily and really moisturizing they feel really good on your skin but like I said it leaves like that that oily like film on your tub so you after your bath you kind of have to get down there and like scrub it off which kind of defeats the purpose you just relax and now you have to like clean your tub so I think that's really cool um, it's not going to leave anything behind and you don't have to worry about the next person using your shower or whatnot and like slipping and falling. That's it. Those are all the new scents and new goodies from Candles by Victoria for the month of February. Definitely check it out. I believe um, these products are all on the website already. So definitely check it out. Again, I'll post the link to Candles by Victoria down below. Oh, actually, let's check in on this pear scent. Yeah, I don't know. I still smell like banana and like bubble gum. Yeah, and it says a straight, delicious, juicy pear scent. Perfect summertime fragrance. It's a nice scent, but to me, for some reason, I pick up banana and bubblegum. Again, if you want to know more about her Super Bowl sale, go and head over to the Kales and Victoria fan page on Facebook and like them and look out for more information on that on Super Bowl Sunday. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!